So hey, welcome to the shop again. Uh, just give you a quick update. Since the last video, I did a few things. I got the seat secured down. I ended up turning the the adjusters upside down, and it made a much uh, lower profile. So now it's not sitting above the rails, and it's actually a little bit easier to adjust because now you're pulling into the center. Uh, I mounted the wheels, of course. Um, I also mounted the master cylinder for the brake. Uh, once I get the steering done, I'll, I'll mount the, the little reservoir for that. So this video, I, I kind of got a little crazy with my steering column. And this, that's what this video is going to be about, is building the steering column. Um, because I have an adjustable seat, I, I didn't want to have the steering wheel set in a certain position. So I'm making a telescoping steering wheel. Uh, it'll come out on this on just a, an angle, so as you come closer, it'll actually lower down in height. Um, so it'll have about six to eight inches of, of adjustment uh, with a center bearing. Uh, it'll be made out of aluminum, brass, and stainless steel, and it'll just bolt to, bolt to the floor. So that's what this video will be about. We'll get it get a bit. It's very complicated, and it should be a fun little video and see how I make, I have to do a brass bearing and an aluminum housing and solder it together to create kind of a, a, a encased uh, a bearing. So that'll be interesting and way overkill for what, for what I need. But that's what this whole thing is about. So let's get this, uh, get this steering column made and uh, get on with it.
All right, so the frame has been welded. Now I'm set up over here in the radial arm drill. Um, I'm, I got this two inch cutter in here and I'm going to use this. I have the frame set up at the 13 degrees, which is where the steering column will face or sit. And I'm gonna use that to put a, a, a two inch diameter chamfer, if you will, in here. So I don't have to worry about setting up the, uh, that bearing holder exactly. I just need to worry about the placement, the spacing on it. That way it sets right at the, the angle uh, it needs to be at. So a much easier way to, to do fit up. Inside of this shaft is a keyed uh, barrel, and what happens is, let me put this in here. The steering wheel is attached to a. Actually, pull this out. To a another shaft with a keyway in it, and inside of there, if you saw, if you saw in the welding, I welded a little tiny key in, in the end of here. And that keys the shaft to the steering wheel, but this is just free to go, and, and that's that phenolic bearing. So this is this allows you to move it in and out. And then I, I don't have them yet. I, I ordered them. They're special set screws with a soft tip, so it doesn't mar the shaft. Uh, you'll just pull it out to where you want it. So probably. I'll be able to pull it out to about there, tighten the set screws. I'll have two of them just to, so you don't have to tighten too tight. And there you go, and you're off. And then if you move the seat, loosen the set screws, push the seat, put the steering wheel in, gets it a little bit lower, but there you go. Hey, thanks for watching this segment of the go-kart build. Hope you enjoyed that. Here's the steering system with my telescoping steering wheel, adjustable steering wheel. Uh, if you like that video, go back and check out the rest of the go-kart build. Getting close to having this thing ready to run. Uh, check out as I put all the pieces together. Uh, hit that subscribe button and I'll keep some more stuff coming.